The friendship between two inseparable New York teenage girls is put at risk as they both develop romantic feelings for the same guy. During their last summer before college, best friends Lily, an introspective blonde, and Jerry, a musically inclined brunette, meet at the crowded Brighton Beach where they consider the idea of skinny dipping. Excited, the fearless brunette dashes shirtless towards the sea, followed by her initially hesitant friend. As they enjoy themselves, a group of guys approach them, with one complimenting Lily's body. Uncomfortable with their remark, the blonde pretends they are Romanian and don't understand English. When the boys invite them for a walk, the girls laughingly swim away from them, showing their disinterest. While riding their bicycles along the boardwalk, Jerry accidentally bumps into an ice cream stand sign, prompting the attractive vendor David to put it up again. To flirt with him, she purchases ice cream and casually asks about the camera atop his cart, wondering if it belongs to him. When David rudely answers no, Lily confronts him about his attitude, asserting that her friend was just being nice to him. After the girls walk away, he grabs his camera and discreetly takes a photo of the blonde girl from the back, revealing his interest in her. When Lily arrives home, she finds her family gathered around the dining table. Her middle sister, Eleanor, is surprised to learn she has ridden her bike so far away, and her youngest sibling, Phoebe, complains about the food. Meanwhile, their mother, Norma, scolds her for not informing them about her late arrival, prompting the blonde teen to explain that her batteries had run out. She then instructs her daughter to remind her father, Dr. Edward, to prepare for the concert they're going to. She then heads to his office, only to witness her dad being intimate with his patient. In shock, Lily closes the office's door and heads to the kitchen, choosing not to disclose the event to her mom. Shortly after, Edward enters and nervously looks at his daughter, who he knows saw his act. As a result, the traumatized teen spends the evening at Jerry's house, where she eats dinner with her hippie parents, Danny and Kate, and her younger brother named Carl. Unlike her family, her best friend's folks are open to each other, making their house feel like a safe space. However, when the couple starts interrogating Lily about her life, Jerry calls out her nosy parents and asks her best friend to go elsewhere. Once they're alone behind the bushes, Lily reveals her father's infidelity and her decision not to tell it to her mom. When she inquires whether her friend's parents had a similar issue, the brunette thinks that her folks simply discussed their problems. After Jerry commends her friend for initiating mature conversations, the troubled girl shares that such intimate topics are considered taboo in her household. In relation to the subject, when she mentions that they have not made love to anyone yet, they make a pact that they should get deflowered before college. The following morning, while on the road, David learns Lily's route to work, giving him an idea of where to post her photos so she can see them. After finishing her boat tour guide shift, Lily bids farewell to her boss, Fitzsimmons, who looks at her creepily. While walking home, the blonde teen notices several photos of her back posted along the street. Intrigued, she examines the image and discovers a note on it, inquiring, where do you live? She then meets Jerry at a restaurant, where she learns that her friend discovered that David works as a waiter at an Italian restaurant where she had intentionally dined with her parents. It turns out that the brunette girl noticed that the ice cream vendor had a book of matches from the same place, explaining how she discovered that he also worked there. Realizing that they're into the same guy, the blonde tour decides not to mention the photo and shares that her boss has requested her to provide a tour for FBI agents instead. That evening, Eleanor enters Lily's room, informing her eldest sister that their mother is crying and their dad has left. Shortly after, a fearful Phoebe emerges from her room before she can console their mom. Showing her nurturing side, the blonde teen offers to paint her youngest sibling's nails as a comforting gesture. The following Tuesday morning, Lily rides her bike to Brighton Beach, where she notices the unmanned ice cream cart. As she walks, she finds a sand sculpture of a breakfast plate made by David, who also turns out to be a street artist. He then informs her that no one buys ice cream on Tuesdays, explaining why he's not stationed at his cart. In response, the blonde girl explains that no one books boat tours on Tuesdays, revealing why she's at the beach. After formally introducing themselves, David tries to ask Lily out, but she declines, implying that she needs to keep an eye on her sister's bike. As the rejected guy walks away, she shouts her address, 682 Rugby, as a direct response to his inquiry written on the photos of her that he posted on the streets. That night, Lily listens to Jerry's composition, encouraging her to pursue her musical talent. Shortly after, the musician reveals her attempts to contact David by calling the restaurant where he works. Without telling about her encounters with the same guy, the blonde questions Jerry's actions, pointing out that she barely knows the waiter. When Lily spots her despondent mom on the sofa, she asserts that affairs happen in the 21st century, implying that Norma's situation is not unusual. She then confronts her mother for sending their father away despite his apology, causing the distressed woman to ask her daughter to leave the room due to her disrespectful tone. 
As Lily sits on the back porch, David surprisingly appears and takes her to his photography studio, where he sleeps for free to guard the place, per the owner's condition. After offering her a drink, the artist goes upstairs to his bedroom, prompting the teenager to follow him. Impressed by his works on the wall, she compliments his passion for art. However, the artist reveals his dream to travel to Rome and Paris so that he can experience the cities in person, as he is tired just looking at them in photos. Later, as Lily reads the book he instructed her to read, the artist leans in and kisses her, which she reciprocates. Suddenly, he stops, suggesting she just go home. Before leaving, the blonde teen confronts him about meeting Jerry on her open mic on Friday night. When the artist confirms, she feels confused of what he really feels for her. That Friday night, Jerry reveals to Lily that she finally spent time with David, but nothing intimate occurred between them. Frustrated, the musician ponders if she should have been more assertive, wondering if guys desire such behavior. When David arrives, the talented brunette invites him and her best friend inside the place to watch her performance. As the performer plays her composition for him, the artist suddenly takes Lily's hand, holding it under the table, revealing that he really likes her. After Jerry's show, David compliments the musician but flirts with Lily in front of her by playfully opening her jacket pockets, discreetly slipping something inside. He then leaves, leaving an air of intrigue behind. Later, after the two friends part ways, the blonde teen discovers a miniature camera that David had slipped into her pocket, making her smile. The following day, after the FBI agent's tour, Fitzsimmons invites Lily into his office. However, she politely refuses and just stays by the door. When the boss suggests taking night cruises to triple her earnings, his teenage employee declines the offer because she has classes and doesn't have any free schedule. When the persistent boss offers her a drink, the uncomfortable tour guide promptly declines, pointing out that she's running late and needs to leave. When Lily shares this experience with Jerry, her friend's mom Kate suggests she calls the American Civil Liberties Union to report her boss's inappropriate behavior. As her mother encourages her friend to speak up, the musician requests privacy for their conversation. After Katie leaves, the brunette tells her friend that it might have felt validating for her to be desired for her body, which the traumatized tour guide disagrees with. Later, when Lily surprisingly finds David waiting outside their garage, she confronts him about his true intentions. In response, he kisses her, confirming that he has fallen in love with her. Afterward, they enter the garage where they sleep together for the first time. The following morning, Norma scolds her eldest daughter for staying out so late, unaware that she was just nearby the whole night. Before leaving the house, the blonde teen stops by the garage and takes the book that David left for her. While walking and reading, she encounters her dad on the street, who tells her that their marital issues are not her burden. However, she asserts that his betrayal has forced her to handle her mom's emotional turmoil. She reminds him that she should be focusing on going to college instead of dealing with her problems. However, when he invites her to have dinner to talk privately, the furious teenager declines and walks away. At Jerry's house, her family gathers with friends for a get-together. As Danny prepares to grill hamburgers, he playfully calls for those inexperienced in intimacy to be a sacrifice. As a result, the inexperienced brunette feels embarrassed by her dad's announcement. Meanwhile, Lily, who had just made love with David the other night, laughs at his remark, wishing she had the same light-hearted family in her home. Shortly after, the musician, who is still unaware of her friend's relationship, reveals that she invited David to her gig, but he declined. Later, while lying in bed, Lily holds the miniature camera and book that David gave her, feeling a sense of longing for him. Shortly after, she starts exploring her body but is interrupted when her mom suddenly barges in, reminding her to get going. As the blonde teen cleanses herself, her boyfriend manages to sneak into the bathroom through the window, ultimately leading to an intimate encounter as they shower together. Following this, the couple embarks on a motorcycle ride throughout the city. As they travel the streets, she supports her artistic partner as he posts his photographs in various locations. While spending time at a basketball court, they notice a man in a suit who unexpectedly removes his clothes. Then, he suddenly dances around the players, which the blonde teen finds amusing. Recognizing the beauty of the scene, the photographer swiftly retrieves his camera and captures the moment. After the couple sleeps together in the photography studio, Lily notices a massive image of hands displayed on the wall, complimenting its beauty. David then reveals that the hands belong to his mother. In a moment of vulnerability, he expresses his desire for his mother to be absent from his life, as he believes she brings unhappiness to those around her. As their conversation gets deeper, the worried teenager shares her fear of facing the end of her life, anxious about the uncertainty. Meanwhile, the photographer fears not living life to the fullest and missing great opportunities. Revealing that the time is getting late, Lily calls her mom about her current location using David's phone. However, she receives the news that Jerry's father has passed away after collapsing in the subway. 
Devastated by the information, the blonde teen abruptly leaves her boyfriend and hurries to Jerry's house, where she apologizes to her friend for not being there at the moment of her father's demise. In her grief, the musician tearfully expresses that her father won't be able to see the important moments in her life, prompting her to hug her best bud tightly. When Lily arrives home, she finds her distressed mother drinking wine in the living room. Worried about her mother's state, she encourages her to allow their father to return home. The next morning, she surprisingly sees her father outside their house. It appears that Norma has spoken to him about returning. However, he reveals that he is uncertain whether he will indeed come back. When his eldest daughter encourages him to apologize and provide an explanation, Edward informs her that he has already done so and he is trying to comprehend his wife's perspective. Later, at Jerry's house, the mourning musician shares her desire to go to work, but her mom advises against it. When Lily suggests that her friend take some time off, the distraught brunette reveals that all she can think about is David, intensifying the blonde teen's guilt about not disclosing her relationship with him. Later at home, Eleanor informs her eldest daughter that David is on the phone. However, feeling guilty that she has betrayed her best friend, the avoidant teenager instructs her middle sister to lie to the guy and tell him that she is not available. Three days later, while Lily is on her way to work, David confronts her for not returning his calls. However, the tour guide avoids the conversation. She starts to act coldly, telling him that she can't meet him even after work because she has plans with her best friend. When David offers to see Jerry with Lily, she declines, which only confuses him. He asks if she wants him to see Jerry alone, and Lily confirms it. Irritated, the artist sarcastically tells her he'll keep her informed about his meetup with her best friend. Fulfilling his promise, he heads to Jerry's house, where the brunette musician invites him to spend time at the park. While the grieving teenager reminisces about her father, she becomes emotional and asks the artist to embrace her, seeking comfort in his arms. Amid their vulnerable moment, she asks him if he would be willing to make love to her, to which he responds by kissing her. The following day, at Danny's memorial service, Jerry rises and walks out to the porch, with Lily following her. She then opens up to her friend about doing the deed with David, causing the blonde teen to feel silently betrayed and hurt. Later that night, feeling agitated, Lily attempts to reach out to her boyfriend, but when he doesn't respond, she heads to Fitzsimmons' office. In a state of frustration, she agrees to have a drink with him. After consuming a few shots, she unexpectedly kisses her boss, which prompts them to move to a boat to continue their intimate encounter. However, amidst the moment, a wave of guilt washes over her, causing her to abruptly leave and make her way to the photography studio, where she confronts her boyfriend about making love to Jerry. However, David confirms that what they did meant something to him. When he blames Lily for asking him to see Jerry, the tour guide points out that she didn't ask him to sleep with her best friend. When the artist asks her if she thinks something really happened between them, the betrayed teen shares that her friend already told her everything. She then lies as a vengeful act, informing him that she slept with her boss. The following day, Lily discovers her parents in the kitchen, cooking together. Her mother has finally reconciled with her father and invited him back into their lives, forgiving him. However, despite her initial desire for him to return, the agitated daughter seems conflicted and acts strangely. She questions the significance of his recent return, wondering if it will differ from his previous attempts. Later, the best friends spend time together at the park. When Jerry mentions calling David, the blonde teen becomes upset and insists that if he truly wants to talk to her, he should be the one to initiate the call. In frustration, she abruptly gets up and leaves her confused friend behind. As Lily continues walking, David, who had been waiting for her, rushes after her, attempting to explain that nothing happened between him and Jerry. However, the teen dismisses him, firmly stating that she believes her best friend. When he insists that she tell Jerry the truth about the relationship, the furious girl firmly refuses and walks out, prompting the artist to feel upset. Later, when Lily arrives at Jerry's place, her best friend informs her that David has called and they have arranged a garden date for Sunday. That weekend, the blonde teenager rides her bike to the garden and spots the artist with his arm around her best friend, causing her to feel hurt and jealous. With such a sight, she decides to go home and lie in bed. Shortly after, Jerry arrives, informing her that David is leaving for Paris the next day at 4. Upon learning this shocking information, Lily confronts the artist the following day and pleads with him to stay. In response, he tells her she should tell her best friend about the relationship. However, the blonde girl refuses to tell her best friend the truth because she cares deeply about their friendship and doesn't want to betray her. She insists that she wants to be a good friend. However, the artist points out that by keeping the relationship a secret, she is already a bad friend. When she admits that she didn't really sleep with her boss and only said it to hurt him back, David calls her out on her manipulative behavior. He points out that by intentionally hurting others, she is pushing them away and warns that she will eventually end up with no one if she continues to be that way. 
Suddenly, the traveler hails a cab, and before leaving, he kisses Lily one last time, leaving her standing there with mixed emotions. After David departs, the broken-hearted teen continues walking along the sidewalk and unexpectedly runs into Jerry, who witnessed their intimate moment. Confronted by her best friend, the blonde girl finally confesses the truth that she had been involved with David throughout the summer until Danny's demise. She also admits that she instructed David to see Jerry to make her feel better because her dad had passed away. Hearing all of this, an offended Jerry breaks down and pushes her away, despising her for what she did. When Lily defends that her intention was good, the enraged brunette dismisses her claims and abruptly leaves her. The next day, Edwards finds her daughter in the garage, who courageously opens up to him that she had made love to someone that her best friend liked. When she expresses that her friend will never talk to her again, he comforts her, explaining that people can be surprisingly forgiving. A moment later, after picking up her last check from Fitzsimmons, Lily returns home and savors her last day in their house as they will be moving away. As the team places her bag on the back of their car, Jerry suddenly arrives and hands her the photo of the dancing man on the basketball court. It turns out that David sent it to Jerry's address, prompting her to assume that he did it to make sure that her best friend sees the photo. However, the blonde girl believes that the photographer intentionally did it because he wanted them to reconcile. As an apologetic gesture, Lily pulls her top and pants and asks for Jerry's forgiveness, pointing out that she can't lose her as a best friend. After covering her blonde friend's half-naked body, the brunette reveals that she never really slept with David because he told her he was in love with someone else. As Jerry hugs the blonde teen, she apologizes and promises not to lie again, realizing that her dad's demise triggered her action. Lily, in response, removes her brunette pal's shirt, and they joyfully dance together in the sprinklers, celebrating their healed connection. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.